more than drop here so to devastate this past summer, the great dismay of all of us. Um, joining us also this evening, I must uh, say we have with us the president of the Kodai Society, and not only is Kodai celebrating the 100th anniversary in conjunction with their 100th anniversary of the liberation of Kiyos, Kiyos Pedros Gerasunis, Kiyos Gerasunis, President Carter, including President Gramatis, 
many congressmen, many senators, and tonight, of course, our very own Admiral Dimitri Sardinus. I want to express my gratitude to all the past presidents that are present here of the Indian Federation, including my good friend Nick Mikhailos, who worked so hard so many years, Nick Marinakis, who became a mayor in Kios, and Michael Savalas, who's here with us, thank you so much. George Malafis, Nick Pilas, and uh, Alex Dulles. So all the time for you. Ladies and gentlemen, there's many people that say to me and they say to Mark, such a prestigious award as the uh, Homeric Award. Perhaps you should hold it in the world of Astoria, or the Hilton Hotel, or the Marriott Hotel. And I remember we tell them, we tell them the following. We tell them that in this house, this is where we began. This is where the demonstrations in Washington started in 1974. This is where freedom rose, and all of us as Yemenians, not only here in New York, but across the nation, we fight for the great national issues. I'm very happy to see the members of the Greek press that are here, including my good friend Antonis Yamandaris, and uh, of course Mr. Subagnotis that's here, and all the other members of the uh, Greek press that are here, Macedonia is here, you asked some tough questions before, don't ask any more questions after this. So I wanted to all, in particular, thank each and every one of you. I know that supporting the GM Federation and the Homerica Award is not only an application, it is really something that we have to do every year because of what it stands and for what it's fighting for. We are fighting for the national causes. We are fighting for the Greek national issues. And today, my friends, you know that not only in America, where we are facing a 16 trillion deficit, not only in Greece, where Greece is suffering economically, not only in Cyprus, where we're having the major problems, but we continue to fight as Greek Americans. The Greek American community is first in education and second in national income. The Greek American community is a community that believes in the hard family values, the work ethic. The Admiral will tell you when he comes up how his grandfather and his grandparents came from Asia Minor to open a restaurant, and how his father, as a Marine, fought in World War II and in Vietnam. These are the Greek American values, the values that we have been carrying forward from generation to generation. And at a time when we are searching for solutions, at a time when we are searching for heroes, the new Greek American generation should be looking at Admiral Stavridis because he's a real role model for Greek Americans today. <laughs> so as we are fighting for our Greek American values, we never forget where we came from. We never forget our roots. And today I remind all of you that 38% of the island of Cyprus is still occupied. 43,000 Turkish troops are still on the island. 200,000 people were evicted from their homes. So when Turkey talks about religious freedom, we remind them about the ecumenical patriarch and the fact that the school of Hakkis is still closed and the fact that 500 churches in the occupied area of Cyprus have been destroyed. When Turkey, a country of 78 million, talks about those things, we remind them that if they want to be a member of the European Union, they have to respect the European Union laws. We are very, very proud tonight because Admiral Stavridis, listen to what I'm saying, he is the supreme, the supreme commander of all allied forces of NATO. 28 countries of NATO, 
a Greek American is a supreme commander. is also the European commander. 51 countries of Europe, the commander is Dimitrios Stavridis, a Greek American. So much. So my friends, as a past recipient of this America Award, I stand in front of you today very, very proud and very thankful to all of you. Each and every one of you makes a difference every day. Let us look forward to the future. Let us continue, because as we always say, the work goes on, the hope endures, and our dream of continuing the Greek American generation into higher spaces will continue. Dimitrios Stavridis is a person who graduated the U.S. Naval Academy. He has, if you read his biography, you will with how many awards he has received. He is a humble man. His wife, Laura, is here, and his daughter, Christina. His other daughter, Julia, is not here with her. But he is proud to be a Greek American. When I was upstairs, he reminded us of what Themistocles said in the Battle of the Salamis. I hope he says it again, because it really touched my heart and it really touched my Greek, uh, my Greek heart. So I remember what Dr. Bradimus he used to say when he used to come up here and used to speak. He says, I don't speak Greek, but I'm Greek in heart. And I know the interest that really is, is Greek at heart. Thank you so much. <laughs>
And I want to simply begin by saying thank you to those of Kios, uh, an island that is at the heart of Greek values and is indeed, as was said earlier tonight, everyone is a Kia. Everyone here tonight is from Kios and shares in these wonderful values. I'd like to take as a theme tonight, and I will be very brief, uh, I would like to take as a theme tonight a poem from Greek, from Kavath, perhaps our greatest poet. And the poem, of course, is Ithaca. A city, a journey, a distance that we travel in our lives. Kabaki said, as you set out for Ithaca, hope that the voyage is a long one. Hope that it is full of adventure, full of discovery. And I think as I look at this assembly tonight, and I think of the Greek American community, there are really three values that I take from this journey we sail on together. The first was written at the Oracle of Delphi. It is to know yourself. The second is from Kazantzakis, one of our greatest writers. It is to live with courage. And the third, I will take from my own life as a sailor, as a mariner, and that is that we must sail on in our lives. Let me say a word about each of those three as we celebrate tonight together. The first, to know yourself. Everyone here tonight has a story, has been part of a journey. Almost everyone, that journey began in Greece. For me, it was my grandparents who came from Asia Minor here to the United States about 80 years ago. My grandfather came, like many of that generation, and he opened a restaurant, a small restaurant, a diner in Pennsylvania. His son, my father, became an officer in the Marine Corps of the United States. He fought for this country in World War II, in Korea, in Vietnam. From my grandfather, Demetrius, who shares today his name dead with me and the other Demetriuses in the audience, my grandfather showed me the value of hard work. A simple thing known to everybody in this room. My father showed me love of my country. Together, that Greek tradition is knowing myself. And I would say that that is the first and the best lesson I learned from Greece, inscribed on the wall of the temple in Delphi, where it has stood for centuries and centuries. Secondly, I would say that we must all live with courage. This, of course, comes from Kazantzakis. Kazantzakis said, at the end of his life, I want nothing, I fear nothing, I am free. To live with courage, we must live in freedom. I believe this is a fundamental value, and tonight we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the freedom of the island of Hills. Join me in a round of applause for that. Do not hurry the journey at all. Better 
if it lasts four years. So, as you reach the island, you have carried everything you have brought along the way. So again, to know yourself, to live in freedom. And third and finally, as we celebrate ourselves this spectacular evening, I would say we must sail on in our lives. We must set goals. We must have a vision for what we want to accomplish. We must experience life as Ulysses did. The poem by Tennyson, Ulysses. All experience is an arch where through gleams that untraveled world whose march and fades forever and forever when I move. Life is about sailing.